Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Is that good? <laughs> skit, 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 skit. What's that from? I know, man. What is that from? Today we're going to talk about this really jerk, Jonathan <laughs> Chevin, aka Food God, aka Kim Kardashian's best friend, aka the crevice inside Kris Jenner's colon. Is I I don't want to say that gross word, but yeah, like he's up okay, in we there. We get it. He's up in there. He has so much dirt on the Kardashians; they have to keep him around. It's one of those type of situations where he has so much collateral on them that if they uh, ignore him or they don't do things with him, he will come out and blackmail them. So this is our story of Jonathan Shepin. Nancy and I are anti-fur. We started a, a mutual vegan page where we talked about vegan recipes, vegan clothes, vegan makeup, cruelty-free everything, and, and we did it together. Sophisticated vegan. Yeah, and it wasn't, we're not trying to be like pompous or arrogant by saying sophisticated. No, it's a it's Seinfeld a, joke. It's a Seinfeld re inside reference. So. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hold on. Let's keep this sophisticated. We, let's keep things sophisticated. sophisticated. Yeah, so, so we, we took it off we that. We took it off that. We don't go after people. Like, we don't attack them and, and pour paint, blood on them or anything, you know, on or runways. But especially on uh, social media, we were active and, and saying, you know what? Could you, could, you, could you not wear fur? Fur was in a comeback. And Canada Goose was very popular, but because of the movement that Stephanie and I were part oh. of, it has definitely, it, like you look at fashion houses now and they use faux fur. Carl Lagerfeld even. Gucci, Versace, they all went to faux fur, they which is went, amazing. So this was like six years ago. The Kardashians were known for wearing fur. That they was their thing. don't care. They didn't care. No bones about it. It started, uh, Khloe Kardashian actually did an anti-fur PETA campaign just for the money and the publicity. There was a campaign that was very popular back then that was, I'd rather go naked than wear fur. Ava Mendez did Everyone it. Everyone was doing it. Beth Bethany Frankel, Pamela Anderson did it. It was just like this movement. So Khloe Kardashian gets on that train because she has nothing else going for her. So yeah. she's like, I need publicity. She says, you know what? After I saw this... Uh, horrible stuff. I'm never gonna wear fur again. You can bet my life that I will never wear fur again. It will never happen ever. Cut to maybe six months later, a year later, she's w back to wearing fur. And we went after her on Twitter and she actually replied back to and us. She replied back. She, she didn't even say anything that tried to redeem herself. No. She was just like, oh honey, you're going after me because of fur. And yeah, I was like, it was, yeah, it was we are weird. going like, after you because of she, fur. But you gotta remember, she's not the smartest no. person. How are you and Tristan doing? We're good. We're actually in a really good place. We just got back together. There's just been a lot of effort on his part. She's no. not the sharpest tool in the shed. So no. She's, she definitely has problems um, with her brain. <laughs> She's she's not she's not that smart. So I don't think she was picking up on. Maybe she forgot about the pita ad. She, well, yeah. Maybe I don't know. She's, she's just not really. She's not. She's the not all there. Kardashian. She's not all there. Yeah, we'll say that. Yeah. And so she she does this stuff, and and Nancy and I are upset about it. Blah blah blah. blah. Perez Hilton calls her a fur hag. Hashtag fur hag. Cut to Jonathan Chevin. Jonathan Chevin hates animals because if you wear fur, you hate dogs, you hate cats, you hate everyone. Uh, and so he's wearing this fur vest. Perez does his thing and says fur hag. I follow in Perez's footsteps and I go uh, down in the comments and I say hashtag fur hag. I don't know Jonathan Chepin. I think I, I think oh, we probably have met him before if you know what i mean like we probably went to the same stuff as him yeah but i, I we've never really met okay i bet you would like pig and whistle or something pig and whistle or yeah, something at a well, yeah, somewhere a weird runway show or yeah. something you know people like andy dick andy dick there, you know yeah. things like that bill maher was there i think one yeah. night. 24 hours later i get a bunch of dms saying 
why is he attacking you? And I'm going to attack, I, cause I don't read the comments. So I go into the comment section of, of some of my pictures. He goes through four different pictures and one video. He goes on to my uh, Instagram page, goes under pictures of me cooking, me with my glasses on, apparently. He says, of course you wear glasses, LOL. He also writes under well, a picture. Well, you do kind of look stupid in He writes hats. under a picture of me in, in uh, swimming. He said, everything a mess. And he misspells mess. So he's a little touched too. I, I think that they're not educated people. No. Then he writes under a picture of me, get some lips. Apparently, I got to get lip filler to be pretty. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to get lip filler. I, 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 you know, I have my parents' face. I'm not changing anything. Do you know, know who doesn't have lip filler and has natural lips? The Princess of Wales. Yeah, she's, Princess Catherine. Yeah, we love so her. Sh so so he who says, the hell cares? He says, get some lips. Then he goes under another picture. And he says, worst looking vegan alive. If that's vegan, give me beef. Explanation point three times. I think he was trying to be funny there, but it wasn't. He says, huge chin under a picture of me. I have my dad's chin. I can't help it. I got yeah. the crinkle. I don't, I, I, sorry. Jennifer Aniston has, has a, has a chin that she's never altered. She, like, I think what she's do you want pretty. To do? Sorry. I'd rather look like Jennifer Aniston than Kim Kardashian. Any, any day. day. So then he writes under something wrinkles. I have wrinkles, but he misspells wrinkles. And then this is the trifecta. The trifecta. I'm I'm uh, hanging out with a guy. I was seeing a guy in Sherman Oaks, and I'm cooking for him. And my and he takes a picture of my backside, and he goes and fat under this picture. Now he calls me fat. With everything going on with like the Chrissy Teigen thing with the bullying and all this stuff, this is an older man who's got a much bigger platform than us. And he is saying these awful things about our physical features. Now, if Stephanie and I were different people, luckily we have confidence. A therapist once told me that I suffer from high self-esteem. Yeah. So it's not like I'm going to jump off a bridge if Jonathan Chevy calls if, me fat. But what if he did but this what to... what if he did it to someone who had... Low self-esteem. Low self-esteem and had to deal with this, you know? And then it gets worse. So so he writes this stuff. And I, of course, I'm not going to be bullied by this lunatic. I write an entire post on my Instagram page after I read all this stuff. And I go for it. I screenshot all his comments. He's such an idiot for not taking them down. I screenshot all his comments. And I write underneath, Jonathan Chevin trolled my IG to tell me I'm ugly for wearing glasses. I need lip injections. I need a chin plant. I'm the worst looking vegan alive and I'm fat. So I tell this to uh, all my followers. And of course, everyone, including men, are, are upset over this. Because you just don't go after women's looks like that. It's just, it's weird. Yeah. And especially just for me to repeat something yeah. that Perez Hilton and a plethora of people were writing yeah fur hag you kill animals to wear fur you're you're gonna be called a fur hag it's yeah. just that's just the reality of it okay and you know because it, it doesn't yeah. exist anymore so this all happens because of a stupid fur hag comment and um i put up my post well of course people are going to be on my side on this i can't imagine anyone except the kardashians taking his side over mine. So they all go underneath the fur vest post that he puts up that he's so beautiful. He looks so great and he's in his fur vest and he's so, you know, masculine and tough because he, he hates animals so much and he hates dogs. Everybody underneath that post writes fur hag and they say, how dare you attack a woman? How dare you attack her? She's not, she's not fat or ugly. You know, she, just because she, I don't believe in plastic surgery. That's my own personal belief. Um, and, and uh, people were just defending me. Okay. Bottom line, defending me. He was off to the UK to promote this reality show that he was doing. That's a D list reality thing that no one watches. He was promoting that and what he had to do then while he was in this promotion phase, he put his Instagram to private and he took everything down. So no one could go onto his Instagram page because he was getting all this, this uh, flaps. Prez then puts up a picture of Kim wearing fur 
and Jonathan in the back of the limo, and then he puts up the picture of me, and then I go, um, you know how Perez always writes that stuff. And he so then, used to do that. He doesn't do it. He doesn't do it as much anymore. Yeah. And so, uh, and then underneath he goes, this is so much more about fur. And Perez makes this now an issue that this is so much more about fur. And I love that. I love how he wrote that. And it was very pro woman, very pro anti bullying. Stephanie and I are not in the same city at the time this is going on. So I have no idea any of this is going on. Two o'clock in the morning, I get a phone call from my friend and they said, you just made the daily mail. She has no clue what. I have no idea what no she's idea talking what about. No idea what she's talking about because um, what happened was, and I feel bad about this, but I think what happened was Nancy was at our desert home, okay? And we only keep our bikinis and our sarongs and all that stuff. We only keep all our, our summer stuff at our desert closet. That's all we do. We In Portland, it's all the winter stuff, fall stuff, all that stuff. And uh, some spring stuff. What I did was, and she obliged because she's my twin, she doesn't care. I go, dude, take a picture right now of you in a bikini. I need a picture of you in a bikini. Cause I didn't have a bikini. And we have the same body, so it was the same freaking thing. We're twins. So she sends me the picture of her in the bikini, and it's uh, uh, she's in the mirror. And um, I, I look ridiculous. No, she doesn't. She looks beautiful. She's got. I look like I'm she, posing like an idiot. No, because I asked her to take a picture of her in a bikini. She doesn't. She doesn't question this. So you can understand my horror when I see a picture of that bikini shot. Yeah. In the Daily Mail. So the Daily Mail picks up the article from, from Perez. And um, they put up the picture of Nancy. And they um, they say, Jonathan Chebin, you know, Kim Kardashian's best friend, calls uh, a vegan blogger, you're a vegan blogger, Nancy Sidley, uh, fat and ugly. And then they used my name because somehow, because it's a dual account. So I tag, but Nancy had an Instagram. So I was tagging her on all the, the pictures. So she, so she gets tagged on that. So the, the person who was writing the article in the Daily Mail picked up Nancy Sidley. So it says Nancy Sidley size four. I think that's a size two in the UK though. It's, it's, it is a size two in the UK. I yeah. think size four is a uh, size two. They say- At the time of this picture, now after the pandemic, obviously I don't look like this anymore, but at the time I was a close. size You're one. No, well, I don't, I know. Don't I, I know. ever think that. Well, and don't I know, let anyone like say a, that no. about you. I, I don't, I'm just being honest. Um, so it says, it says a little more. after Nancy Sidley called him a fur hag, the 42 year old reality star viciously retaliated in the comments of her sophisticated vegan account. So, so again, had, I'm Nancy, very confused Nancy's at this point. Nancy's confused. She has no clue what's going on. And then of course she calls me and she's like, dude, why am I on the daily mail? And I tell her and she understands at first, but then she, she, I, at the time that year in my life, I was being very private and you know, the reason I was being very, a very private yeah, person but you do, because but, I was dating someone right. who I needed no to be reason. private okay. with well, that's, at the that's time. That's a different story. So I yeah. feel awful about this. So then the next post after this, I put up a shot of me in a bikini. I ended up going to Target. Okay, buying a bikini because I felt so bad about this. Yeah, something she should have done in, in, in the beginning. It's the exact same uh, shot. We look exactly the same. I mean, I, I got a little bit more curvier uh, on, you know, on, yeah. you know, a little more curves than Nancy. But it, but it's pretty much telling you this is what Jonathan yeah. Chebin said about. And us. this is before like we had the old iPhone, so there were no filters we don't, or anything we hate like filters. that. Right, right now, now I, like, I, I, I don't like. I this mean, is right now, literally this is how I look. This is how I look. This right is now. really the reason. This is it. Yeah, I don't. I came I, out of the shower and this. I don't, I don't like makeup. I don't want anybody to ever meet me in in. Uh, person one day and go, oh wow, she looks totally different. Yeah, I hate that That's stuff. why I never wear any makeup in these things. We're my mom, anti filter. My mom goes, my mom always goes, she goes, well, you look tired and all this stuff. I'm like, because I mom, I, don't, I am tired. I, I am tired. Cause I yeah. didn't sleep last night. Yeah. Or you got glare or what? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't care. So, so we put up these two pictures. Of course, everybody again is still uh, upset about this. Jonathan Chebin has gone private and that's what he's doing. 
uh, Nancy and I just got picked up then by the, the Associated Press. Did you want to do a phone interview? Okay. And we're like, I don't care. So Steph like, conducts a phone interview. If we could, if we could help animals out, we'll do it. Yeah. Because we mentioned charities and stuff. Yeah. And so, so we do a phone interview with this girl and she's really nice. And she's like, how did it make you feel? And blah, blah, blah. And it was like, you know, again, we're very confident girls, but we were trying to convey to the journalist, if this was said to someone on the brink, you know, of yeah. depression or, or high anxiety, it might yeah. have gone a different way. That's what we are trying to convey. Yeah. And that's the truth. And I, I believe that if you, if you have yeah. low self-esteem and someone says you're fat and you're yeah. ugly for wearing glasses and you, you know, blah, 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 you're a size four or whatever. It's like, that's fat. Yeah. That's someone's going to off themselves. And that's not a good it's thing. It's not really. a thing. Chevin got very lucky that he said this to us because very again, lucky. we're it could, bulletproof. It could have gone a different it direction. It could have gone way worse. And we, we really, uh, we are very anti-bully. I hate that stuff. I hate uh, when Chrissy Teigen bullied that, oh, that poor 19 year old. Oh, and she, she told was, her she, to off herself oh. and it was just all you know chrissy and chrissy Hegan's done come on target yeah, she's a her. terrible person she's a terrible person so then that happens it gets picked up by everybody the interview is number two on yahoo people are reading this they're upset they they uh go after they don't go after him in a mean way though that's the, they're not telling him go off yourself we're getting phone calls from men that we haven't talked to in years because of these bikini shots Nancy comes back to town then. She comes back to Portland and we're hanging out. I think we were having dinner uh, down the street at North. Remember that place North we used to go to? She goes, I wonder if, if the Kardashians are going to say something. And I was thinking about it because this man is their spokesperson. This is Omid Scobie. This is their PR this guy. This is their PR guy. Not Simon Huck and Jonathan Chebin are the PR people for the Kardashians. So I write this, I go, I can't believe Kim Kardashians is uh, BFFs with this guy. What if North grows up and doesn't want to get any plastic surgery like me? Would he say the same thing to her? The Kardashian brand should not be about putting down women based on their looks and he is part of their brand. 100%. He's losing sponsors at this, he at this time. He lost his reality show. He doesn't have a show anymore. This is really backfired this on This is him. all, and, and everyone's asking him questions about this. Yeah. No one's asking about, you know, his, his whatever, food, food or whatever. Network no thing. one's asking about the Kardashians. Yeah. The Kardashians are, are silent. They don't say anything. It's all the press sites were taking our side. So they, are, we, re, they were scared of us at this point. And so... Kardashians don't come out with anything, which really doesn't surprise me now because of, oh my God, the way, I mean, Chloe needs to stop with, the, with that poor girl. I mean, this, this, they need to slow down with the plastic surgery. This was back when they were kind of getting plastic surgery, but now it's like full blown. They're trying to get a hold of us because they want to make an episode out of this. Mm -hmm. But Stephanie and I are smart enough to know that they will turn it around to make us look, us bad, look bad and Jonathan as the victim and we'll get, yeah, we'll get paid for it. But no. yeah, so we so can't we be bought. So we know this is going on. So we can't be bought. So we're like, no, nope. you're not using our names. You're not using our image. You're not, you're not using, using this story. Vegan. Unfortunately, they... Ha have to make an episode where they have to somehow bring Jonathan and make him look like the victim. Right, but, but they no longer have a storyline to well, use us with. Right, so what they did was uh, Splash, which was hired by them, took pictures of Kim Kardashian on a beach in Mexico in a, a bikini. A private beach. A Jennifer private. Aniston stays there. This is how private this house... No, th she does. Yeah. This is how private this house is. So they, you have to invite photographers to get on this beach. It is a very private she beach. She pulls a Meghan Markle. She, she takes her, her photographers and she gets the pictures of the bikinis, which is what their move is because we did the bikini pictures. Now she's going to do her bikini pictures. Yeah. So they got these 
these pictures out and she is upset about these pictures because people are going underneath these pictures saying, you have cellulite, you're fat, you're ugly. No. They hired the photographer to take the picture and they made up the comments the saying bots. that you're fat. So they do this whole episode about Kim Kardashian. She had to leave Mexico a day early because it was so awful for so her hard. that people were talking about cellulite. her and it be to having cellulite in one leg. I always have cellulite on my thigh, on my one thigh, and I always like cover well, I don't know whether you have cellulite, but it doesn't look like it looked in those pics. It can really like hurt your soul if you hear enough bad things about you. Even if you know you don't look like that, it could just be like, oh, wait a minute, do I? And like, uh, the last thing I want is to have like a complex. And so Jonathan um, said, you know, those, just ignore those people. Ignore the people that call you fat. Ignore the people that call you ugly. And then Kim and Jonathan do confessionals and they're like, they're just bullies. And they're so excited to be nasty so fast. That's what it is. They're, they're just so, so excited. excited. They're waiting to for anything down. bad. I think you should like forget about it. I know you tend to get into like a different mood. They're just bullies. Why do you look on Daily Mail, TMZ, Us Weekly? Because that's like my life. But I'm like, why do I subject myself to be out and being seen? When the Daily Mail article broke out, a bunch of people, not us, not us, a bunch of people took pictures of him on a beach. And they were not flattering pictures. They then... And they were reposting them and then, saying, you're calling these girls, girls fat, fat and ugly? Wait a second. Wait, you don't, you know. And then they took. You shouldn't throw stones, buddy. And then they took a picture out of his yearbook, his old yearbook, and then they compared it to his face now. And they it's said. It's a totally different How person. could you get on these girls about their, their looks, their facial looks? So that's what he was referring to. He was. But they couldn't say they it. They had to keep doing the fake pictures of her in Cabo. with the cellulite in Cabo. And then. They have to turn it into, she might not go to the Met. You become insecure once you start seeing so many bad things about you. It's like, do I even want to put myself in a situation like going to the Met Ball? Feeling insecure and wondering like, am I going to look skinny? You know, are they going to like my dress? What's going on? Like, you know, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to be put in that position. And this is where they get sloppy because yeah. she's in the car and they lie and they say Kanye is on the phone with her. And what she's saying is so hysterical because it's about us. She's going. But I was like so annoyed. Like when will they stop with this story? I guess it got so much attention for them. They just won't le let it down. Pictures just keep coming out every day and they won't let it go. And if I can't handle it. Who can? And that's what Jonathan's been saying the entire time is that we're just trying to get clout off him calling me fat and ugly. Now, so Stephanie and I decided to make a uh, lemonade out of lemons because if that's the way they want to play it, we'll, we'll do play it. it. So we made a t-shirt that said, Jonathan Chebin thinks I'm fat. And then in the back, it had our logo. It had our logo, Sophisticated Vegan. So what we did was we took all the proceeds and then Nancy and I, and our family matched the donation to an animal charity. Because the Kardashians hate animals, Jonathan Shevin hates animals. And you know what he did on, on uh, one of the sites though? He had to then backtrack and say, I love animals. That wasn't real fur. He go, yeah, he lied and said it wasn't real fur. It was confirmed it was real fur. It was promoted as real fur. He's a liar. And he said, I love animals. I don't know what you're talking about because here's the thing in Hollywood, you screw with animals, dude. You screw. It's you're, very faux pas now. You can't, you can't, yeah. okay? So, uh, especially fur. Fur is so we just sell, so... so. So we sell this t-shirt and, and we make money for the charity. And then Kim does her little thing, her lie. She then does what an entire we... episode about her low self-esteem and why she thinks she's fat and why she thinks she's ugly. No, no, no. It was like, a really, I looked like 500 years old. Like my face was so ugly. And then it's on the media. Kim's aging. Her face is so Knowing that all eyes are on you when you're walking up those stairs and within moments, people can be so quick to criticize and say whatever is really intimidating. And Jonathan and Simon Huck are there the entire time and the entire episode is based on uh, women who have low self-esteem. 
And I find that incredibly ridiculous. And we all knew what was going on, but you know, this was years ago, but people asked us why we d dislike the Kardashian. And that's the story. They're awful people. They should have come out and they should have defend it at the least and said, you know what? Jonathan should not have said that about women. All women are beautiful. You don't need plastic surgery. It's so, you know, that, that kind of stuff. They should have come out and said something, but they said nothing. It was crickets. And then they lied and did an entire episode about a lie, about her having issues. She doesn't have issues. She is the... You talk about narcissism. She she has and a big ego. She doesn't care about anything. She thinks she this is her in a mirror all day. She's staring at a mirror. <laughs> Jonathan Chebin, he tried to rebrand himself because people called him a creep. What he did was he thinks he's a foodie. He's not. He he's the worst taste in food. He he does these uh typical sugar factory uh, the a steak poppy, all these Miami restaurants that are so touristy. Nancy and I are the most anti-touristy people. He legally, I'm not kidding, he legally yeah. changes his name. He tries to do this whole rebranding thing. It doesn't work. He's still a jerk. And Kim <laughs> Kardashian still has absolutely no problem bringing him around her daughters. It's all this crap, but at the same time, you have to remember this, guys. Uh, this is a Marcus Anderson situation like Meghan Markle. Kim Kardashian knows how much dirt Jonathan Chebin has on her. Okay, the collateral yeah. is probably astronomical. Yeah. He knows everything. They're not going to ever take him out of the family, okay? Yeah. He's yeah. in it. He's in it. He's not leaving. Simon Huck as well. Yeah. So be be uh, out for that about uh, you please don't support food god. Please don't support the Kardashians. Uh, they are bullies, they are mean people, and they just, you know, they promote really bad body image for women. Today's animal uh, rescue, we're going to obviously feature an anti-fur organization, and it's called the International Anti-Fur Coalition. These guys are... Uh, a movement that we all gotta uh, support a lot and get of behind. Fashion. Thank you to the, all the fashion houses, Gucci, all those Versace. People. Thank you for going. Um, all the designers. Fur. And, Thank and, you. Yeah, I mean, ten years ago, yeah. it, it, it was I mean, unheard you, of to not use. Well, you gotta fur. again. You gotta really hate animals. Yeah. Uh, like Zachary Levi from that Shazam thing. You gotta yeah. really hate animals to wear fur. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And obviously Zachary Levi hates dogs yeah. and, and all animals and, and the Kardashians as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, and this isn't allegedly. They're wearing fur, guys. Yeah. Uh, well, I alleged, feel bad. I feel... No, they are wearing... I can't yeah. say it's true, so... Yeah. Allegedly they hate animals, but Zachary Levi and the Kardashians do wear fur, so... Yeah. They hate animals. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay. And Nancy's she, wearing a blazer shirt today. I did that because the Lakers got swept by the Denver Nuggets. Portland Blazers. Yeah. Hate I mean, it's the Lakers. Not, Portland didn't make the playoffs this year. It but, doesn't uh, matter. We hate them. Yes. But, okay. Uh, yeah. It was pretty funny, though, because Tristan Thompson only scored four points in the entire yeah. game. Yeah. That guy is something else. <laughs> Anyways, he's so great. Kardashian man, that curse. Kardashian curse is real. I gotta say, man, LeBron, you've got a hood spot to allow Tristan back on that team, man. That you and you wonder why you got swept. You wonder why you got swept, dude? Denver what were you thinking? Yeah, listen, letting that show. dude back we, on we, that we team. Do a live on that or something. Kim was at every yeah, single she, game really, in the look, front she's row. Really happy. No, I'm and not you happy. Are, you are. You're wearing your no, because shirt. you know what? I like LeBron. Yeah. I can't believe he let Tristan Thompson back on that team, and now he's walking around wondering why how he got swept. Yeah. How he got swept? Okay. Really, dude? Okay. You don't well, know how you got okay. swept? So we're anti-fur and everybody should uh, not wear fur. <laughs> okay. And boycott uh, the Kardashians. Yeah. Zachary Levi, no one cares about. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for joining us. We had a really good time telling you uh, this story. We have many more, I'm sure, that we will come up with. Yeah, you can go on my Instagram page yeah. and verify everything. I'm not making any yeah. of this up. I'll put Stephanie's Instagram link in the description below. And It's just a vegan page. You guys have a really good day, uh, and we will definitely see you soon. Love you guys. Bye, you guys.
Oh, it's from um, Griswold's. It's from. Uh, oh yeah. When he's when um, Clark has a complete freak out Melting. and then he he drinks the punch. Or is it the eggnog? Or whatever it is, and he goes, "It's good. It's good. It's good." That's where we are at this point. Yeah, that's where we are. A half, half, happiest Christmas well, since. We can't say it. Bing Crosby, Crosby tap dance with Danny freaking K. K. When Santa squeezes his fat ass down the chimney, he's going to see the jolliest bunch of a-holes this side of the nut house. Yeah, the nut house.